Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back. So, um, I think this is looking so bad. So, I just thought, why not just I upload my picture that I always use? Um, basically, um, my family doesn't like that picture. They say that they don't like it. Some people say I look good. Some people say I don't. So, I don't know why. Okay, let's just come here and let's just upload the image. So, I'm just gonna go to the logo. No. Um, the landing page so it's in here yes this is the right here I'm just gonna upload this one and let's just set the product image a uh, basically why I use this it's because um, um, I am in the suit I usually wear the suit and I usually wear it on the marriages only I do not wear it anywhere else so that is why this is the marriage background of my cousin so this is the photo of that so let's just come here and let's just update it so and I'm dating it you can see um, I'll be here here we go they say this is me so now you can see um, everything is here. And now we're going to do the testing of the product, basically. So let's suppose that a guy wants to hire me on third, on third of um, 9 a.m. So he wants me to work for 9 a.m. And the booking cost is $50, okay? We have a sign that here already for the per block. If I just come here and I just go to cost, you can see we have selected the cost to be like $50. So let's come here. And if a guy is hiring me for 50 bucks, like 9 a.m., okay, and he wants um, t a work to be done. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit um, book now. So the guy has hired me for 9 a.m., okay, you guys can see Harith and Zillerman has been added to your card. And he's going to go ahead, he's going to view the card. It says booking date is this, booking time is this, and duration is one hour, okay. I'm just going to go, okay, cool. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, just go down. And I'm going to hit proceed to checkout. So in the checkout option, I have to enter my billing details, everything here. And here it says the PayPal. So I've just uh, checked the check payment so that I can test. I don't have to check everything with PayPal, create a sandbox account and test it. So this is the check payments and the total costing is $50. 50 bucks, okay. Now the guy go ahead and he just says the place order. So I would recommend you not to accept the check payments, only accept PayPal guys, this is recommended. If you wanna accept the credit card, then you can go with the two checkout method, but do not go beyond that. Do not just accept uh, bank transfer and these stuff. Do not accept it guys, seriously, because uh, the people will order and then they will not pay you the amount and your time will be based. Now you can see that I have added this check payment method. This is just to test every order, okay? So you can see that the order has been received. Okay, um, these are the order details. It says hire, booking number 19, and the January 3rd, okay, 2018, and it says 9 a.m. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to hit view my bookings. It says unpaid. So you can see the price is unpaid because I haven't received his check. The booking ID is this, order is 20, January is this. And so the guy will come here. He'll just go to WooCommerce and orders, and once he receives that um, check, I'm just going to go ahead, and he's going to uh, just complete it. So I'm just clicking complete. You can see um, that the booking should be um, completed so you can see it says um, paid okay and um, I'll be working him on January 3 and from 10 a.m. 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. so this will be ended on this now let's come here and let's go to the booking so I am the admin and I'm viewing this that who's booking out here so this is booking number 19 heart and zero Raman. Okay, it says book by Tanzila Raman. The order is this. Star date is this. Okay, and this is this. So I'm, I can also view it. Okay, and on clicking the view, you can see everything is right here. This is address is this, and everything is this. So I'll be just available to him, and I can just um, just give him answers to everything. I can do his work. What it, whatever the work he wants to done and his booking status is also paid so he has paid it okay so now uh, then I will set my schedule according to that so now let's see if a same guy wants to hire me on that specific date will he be able to hire me or no okay let's come here and let's select this and you can see it is already here okay he's gonna select this and he'll be like, um, okay, I wanted to hire him on from 9 a.m. Where is he? He's not available. So this is what I mean, guys, because another guy has already hired me. If I just go here and I just open this up in an uh, incognito window, okay? So let's suppose that I'm here and I am just and I just want to hire him on the incognito window. I'm here and say the duration, so I need to hire him for like um, two hours, okay? And I go here and I just want to hire him on three. So he's not available from a part of three. So you can see 10 a.m. is not available, okay? So let's suppose that I want to hire him from like 10 a.m. 
and my duration is going to be five. Uh, so I cannot go beyond that five, okay? We have selected it right here in the edit product, okay? If we just come here and we just go to the availability, then you can see that we have added that section. So if you just go to availability, you can see um, it says, sorry, uh, cost, this one, maximum duration is set to five, okay? So this is we have already mentioned. So now here, the guy is hiring me for five. So one, two, three, four, five. So for he, I will be working him from 10, 10 a.m. To, to 2 p.m., okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit book now. And the guy is going to book me. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit view card. And here is the booking date, the booking time, booking duration is five hours. And the price is $250. So he's just gonna go ahead, he's just gonna go ahead, he's just gonna open this up and he's gonna enter his name. So his name and everything. Okay, he also has to enter the email address. So his email address is going to be um, test at test.com. Okay, and he wants to create an account. So his password will be, um, let's just go ahead and let's hit place order. So, okay, I wanna select this state country and this uh, state. And this is check payment. He's gonna go ahead and he's gonna hit place order. So you can see this his this, this guy's order is going to be received, and it says this one right here, and it says view my booking. So booking number twenty one, and this is from ten a.m. He can just go ahead. He can view his booking as well. Okay, and it says um, higher than zero Raman. This is booked. Okay, and the order is this order number twenty two. The start date is from January third. Um, 10 p.m. 10 a.m. to January 3rd 3 p.m. So this is t the status is unpaid. So since I've chosen that one, so when the guy will come here, he'll just open this up. He's just gonna go to WooCommerce and then Orders, and then here he will just approve my payment since I've sent him the check. Okay. Um, now here, the uh, the guy will open this up and then he'll come here and then he's gonna refresh this. So here now you can see it says paid. And once I just come here and I just open this order ID, you can see in the order ID, it will be there. So you can see higher than zero man booking number this. And I can also view the booking in the booking section. So this is here, this is from here to here. So this is my upcoming booking. Now you can see um, a guy, another guy, another guy who wants to hire me on the same date. Okay, so I'm just gonna open the Internet Explorer for that. So I'm just gonna open up, I'm just gonna enter the s10.complete wpcourse.com okay and I'm gonna hit enter right now so you can see um, this is right here and here I want to go ahead I want to select the shop so in here I have this higher than zero Raman I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna hit a read more so now the guy comes and he wants to hire me on that date this date okay and he selected okay he's not available he's just available from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. okay so this is how it's work and if I just come here and I just want him to be like two hours or like um, five hours and then I just uh, hire him from 3 p.m. okay um, you can see um, 3 p.m. is right here booking cost is this but he is just hiring me for five hours okay so I'll be working him from 3 4 and on the next day this will cost this will work so he's just gonna go ahead he's just he's just gonna hit a book now and then he's going to just hit view card and now here he's going to just go ahead and he's going to click this proceed to checkout so now he has to enter his uh, first name his last name his city country his address and let's add a, an email so So now here he is going to create an account, okay? Um, and let's just go ahead and let's place the order. So um, let's just cross it. And you can see the order has been received. Um, the booking is this. And he's just going to go ahead and, and he's going to view the payment. He, he's he's going to view the booking. So it says 3 p.m. to um, 8, 8 p.m. The reason because the reason why is that we have selected that um, if a booking uh, is held, then the booking will be from that to that. So you have to work on that time. Okay, this will be not available. Um, since I'm not available from that time, that is why I cannot manage it, okay? If I just come here to this right here, and I just wanna edit this product page. So you can see that we have mentioned in here, the maximum duration can be this. So you have to select it, like um, this mean like, you have to select air, 
like five three so maximum duration can be only one hour then the person will stick to one hour but if you just select it like and if the guy hires you for five hours then you have to work for him because the guy has hired you okay and so now you can see that we are totally done with this and now in the next video i'll be showing you that how can you so in the next video we'll learn how can we just um enter a hotel booking room okay where people can just um hire a hotel room and this would be having has person and has resources so we'll be working up with that in the next video so stay tuned guys for that and bye bye